Hi, my name is Belle Van Huffel, and I am a poet from Duchenne Academy. I have feelings now! And this poem is entitled, I Am Not a Poet. I press my sharpened pen to, er, sorry. I press my sharpened pencil to paper, open my mouth and words spill out, stumbling over stanzas, straining to be heard. Spit out line after line, words flowing into a crescendo, seeking a connection of pure human emotion. But I am not a poet. Poets are crusty old men, bearded, bland, and boring, tucked away in the corners of our minds, tested over and forgotten, another grade in the grade book. Poets are crazy young women that rise out of the ash and eat men like air, not stopping for death in its carriage, yet still wind up jammed into the library shelves, bursting with remnants of souls crammed into the pages, binding labeled 811 and alphabetized. They were not remembered for their poetry, but what it represented. The literary era behind their words that sparked the fire in their hearts. I am not a poet. I am only a girl with something to say and the motivation to say it, I am a voice, drowned out by the chattering of robots who go through the motions, lacking self-awareness, never stopping to wonder why they need to oil themselves to get by, breaking down in silence, never saying a word of complaint until it's too late to be repaired. I am just a voice. But words have power. They breathe life into hearts weighed down by oceans, weave tapestries to be hung through the ages, paint pictures so vivid they sear into my mind. My throat clenches with the effort to restrain them, words too loud for such a small voice. My words are dull. Lines cliche and overused, but it never mattered because I wrote for myself an introspective form of therapy, shaking hands stilled by the steady rhythm of pencil scratching paper, m racing mind focused and redirected. Emotions bound into something tangible, lips too tired to sing. My words are selfish, tales spun in my favor, Jaded by perspective, I tore down cities, built a palace of comfort, a sanctuary of syllables. I never used names, paranoid of discovery, of curious eyes and tapestries unraveled, of searing words that can't be taken back. I will never be great. Never read in literature classes, memorized and recited, studied and analyzed. I will never be remembered enough to be forgotten. Hiding behind the conventional and formulaic, ignoring rhyme and meter like it's some kind of an accomplishment. I will never be courageous enough to raise my voice louder than the crowd. I will never be a poet.